Elon Musk is saying that Dogecoin is the cryptocurrency of the future. He loves Dogecoin so much. Um, Doge, Dogecoin is up 8,000% this year. So let's think about that for a second. Say that I'm an investor and I bought Dogecoin um, back when it, uh, one year ago exactly, and I spent um, $1,000. How much is my currency worth? Well, it's worth $80,000. So I made a big profit. So say that I want to take that money out of the cryptocurrency bank. So I pull it out of this bank and I say, I am I just made $79,000. So where does that money come from if I made my 8,000% profit? Well, it comes from other investors that invested in Dogecoin, right? Whoever has confidence in Dogecoin. Um, why do we know that? Because there have there you have to convert it to dollars somehow, and the dollars have to be somewhere. So the dollars are in the Dogecoin bank, and you take the money out. So that's seventy nine thousand dollars. So when you take seventy nine thousand dollars out of the Dogecoin bank and 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 and, and give it to yourself in profit, um, then. Um, All, all I'm saying is that um, the bank doesn't have that money anymore. And when everyone takes their money out, uh, the bank doesn't have that money anymore. Because do does Dogecoin have overhead? Like you know, when you when you're when you're trying to analyze a business, you look at um, their fixed expenses, their variable expenses, and you look at their liabilities, like the things that could come back to haunt them, like um, Facebook censoring people. Um, in a way that could absolutely destroy their entire company. Um, so uh, when you look at them and you, and you go, okay, how much money do they have in the bank? How much are they bringing in? How much are they putting out? Well, they're, they're paying people out an 8,000% um, 8, on their investment. So if, if you invest in my company and I had to pay you 8,000%, um, and, and, and my company's revenue model is basically about uh, transactions, like I'm going to charge a fee on transactions, but um, I still have overhead because I have to pay electricity for the miners, I have to pay for mining the cryptocurrency, um, I have to pay like offices and stuff, I have to pay for servers that are always on, um, I have to pay coders. Um, so all I'm saying is they do have expenses. So uh, when when this person takes seventy nine thousand dollars out, um, and that's just someone that invested a thousand dollars, and they're suddenly getting seventy nine thousand dollars out, um, that company has more that they're losing. Like, I'm talking about Dogecoin as a company. They have more that they're losing um, than just that seventy nine thousand dollars. They also have to pay for the mining algorithm and or they, for for the servers. Um, and for the, I mean, they did have to pay for the mining al algorithm if, in work, because those Dogecoin was created by some guys from Adobe, some um, very talented coders. And so all I'm saying is, um, Elon Musk thinks the best currency of a, for exchange um, is the one that went up eight thousand percent in a year. And all of us have to say, wow, I would really, really enjoy if my money went up eight thousand percent, unless it. Um, unless that, that money going up 8,000% was enabling people to take money out of Dogecoin and to completely um, kind of pull like the ground out from underneath it. So I think eventually, obviously, um, a lot of cryptocurrencies are going to go completely bankrupt and Dogecoin is probably one of them because um, say that I, uh, verse, instead of having a cryptocurrency that's going up 8,000%, um, say that I have a cryptocurrency that um, doesn't go up. It's a stable coin. And then I take some of that money that's um, been put into my cryptocurrency and I invest it in somewhat safe, um, maybe not completely safe, um, but somewhat safe um, stocks like annuities. Um, and I um, have, have a really great team of investors. So I, I tend to um, always have my pile of money go up rather than going down by people taking out uh, an 8,000% gain in, in, in their first year. Uh, um, then my stablecoin would have a lot more long-term uh, merit. But um, clearly the U.S. government is trying to get rid of stablecoins, and they're trying to make sure that the only coins available 
are um, coins where you can make $79,000 in a year, um, but when you make $79,000 in a year, eventually enough people making $79,000 in a year is going to absolutely destroy that currency. And um, that's why I'm saying, like, how does Elon Musk think this is a great currency of exchange when it's got that much volatility? I mean, I, ah, ah, I, oh, because Mark Cuban said it. Apparently, Mark Cuban only owns $500 in, in cryptocurrency, so he's not, uh, or in, 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 in Dogecoin, so he's not trying to manipulate the market. But um, I don't know. Elon's definitely using Mark to manipulate Dogecoin, it seems like. Oh, well, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I think there are going to be a lot of poor people at the end of this and <laughs> a lot of angry people at Elon. <laughs> He's going to really piss off people when um, the cryptocurrency boom ends.